Uh, just taking a quick intermission from uh, different loads. I'm here at the uh, Love's Truck Wash, and um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. Somewhere in Tennessee. <laughs> at the Love's getting a truck wash. For those of you who don't know, if you have Love points, you can actually use your Love points to pay for your truck wash. Um, I did have enough to completely cover my uh, truck wash, so hey. Why not get her shined up? I got a white truck. You got to keep it from getting dirty. But, uh, yeah, y'all. I was just chiming in and let y'all know that, that if you have Love's Points, you can use it to pay for your truck wash at Love's. Uh, the load I have, it is a load of steel bars. Uh, picked it up from New Core over in... Um, uh, where did I pick it up at? In Alabama. <laughs> I can't remember, guys. But, um... Load is 620 loaded miles and it is paying 27.85. You do the math on that. So even with the deadhead miles, right? So even with the deadhead miles, which was 139, no, 169 deadhead miles. And let's just say the load, like I said, is about 620 on the miles. So let's just round it up and say 800, right? Let's do the math and let's just say 800 miles paying $27.85. That's still well over $3 a mile. You do the math. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all when I get to my stop tomorrow. And it was a pickup. I picked it up yesterday, uh, Monday, which I wasn't supposed to pick it up to this morning, but I went and grabbed it yesterday. I could deliver it today, but I'm going to deliver it first thing in the morning. Uh, Lord's going to Marcellus, Marcellus, Illinois, to a new court air. I'll see y'all when I get there though. Hey guys, just finished with my truck wash. I'm a little concerned about what this is. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's some wax or something they were using that was left over. Uh, cleaning wise, eh, didn't really do much. Didn't wash the tanks, but I guess that's something to pay for extra. Overall, yeah, they did, there's still stains on it. They did okay, but shit, it wasn't really nothing no better than what the rain could have did. But we can work with it for now. It's better than what it was, so I guess that is a start. But other than that, yeah, guys, um, that's truck wash it loves. Let's see if Blue Beak can do better next time. YouTube, YouTube. All right. We are here at Precoat Metals in Granite City, Illinois. I said I wasn't going to let them get me. I told y'all I wasn't going to let them get me. But still got me anyway. I'm here at Precoat Metals <laughs> picking up coils. Two sets. About, mind you, of shotgun coils. I'll show y'all my setup. So yeah, we're already set up. We're in line here, uh, picking up shotgun coils. So yeah, I said I wasn't gonna let them get me. They got me anyway. It's all right. I chose the load, so that's my um, unknowingness. That might not be a word, but it is today. Um, that's my unknowingness that I was coming to pick up a coil. I chose this load because I'm up north and I wanted to get back south. This was the only thing that was just kind of available getting me back south. Granted, it pays well. It's 442 miles, paying 1400 That's $3 and some change a mile. So I'm trying not to complain, but we're getting 45,000 pounds worth of like individual, um, but they're like bundled together. Um, Shotgun coils. So we got our setup ready. We got a Corex on. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I'll show y'all the setup once I'm done. I wish I had a tripod, guys. I'm going to work on trying to get in the tripod, but um, money's just tight. That way I can show y'all my setup for the process because I know y'all get tired of be like, damn, he just showing me that he went somewhere, but he ain't telling me where he went and how he did it. I wish I had a tripod and I could show you guys that. I'm going to work on getting that for you guys. You guys deserve to see the process of what I do out here. So I'll work on that. Anyways, guys, I will see y'all 
in Alabama where I am taking this call, delivering it tomorrow at 1 p.m. All right, it's Friday, YouTube. Hope y'all got paid. Hope y'all are good. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of your mental health. I am here at Weyerhauser in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Picked up a load of lumber here. As you can see, I already have it strapped down. Uh, just waiting on the gentleman from Jordan there to finish up his uh, tarp so I can use the tarp machine. But I got straps on it. How many straps I do have? Let's see. A little education. So the working load of straps is 5,400. The working load limit is 5,400 pounds. So I have a 45,000 pound load. So, and I'd rather over secure it. DOT says 50%. I think the company, you know, shoot for 80. At least Boyd used to shoot for 80. But I have one, two, three. In fact, I'll show y'all. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten straps on this load. So ten times fifty four hundred is fifty thousand four hundred. And I have a forty five thousand pound load, meaning that I one hundred percent and some change secured the load. So with that being said, guys. Always, it's always better to over secure than under secure. You can never go wrong over secure. Uh, we're going to get this tarp using the tarp machine. We're going to get some, get it bungeed down. And we're going to keep it cracking and we're going to get on down the highway. Next stop is Lake City, Florida. See y'all there. All right, y'all, excuse the noise. Got the low strap. Yes, I'm going to throw an X strap right there for the nosy people that are watching. Just kidding. But yes, I'm going to throw an extra right there. But yes, got the load tarped up. Might not be wrinkle free, but hey, it ain't too bad. Like I said, this load is going to Lake City, Florida. See, got the load pretty secure. Show y'all the other side. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it. Next stop, you know where. I'll see y'all when we get over there. It's time to go shut down somewhere, get a shower, have a good old nice meal. Y'all be safe. All right, you two, we are once again at my favorite loves. You know the one. Fuel here is still 324 a gallon, but with the discount we get, uh, here at Shelton, which is part of PNS, um, I only paid 276 at the pump. So I did a fill up. So I filled up. As you can see here, they're five hundred twenty-seven dollars and twenty-nine cent uh, worth the fuel on the pump price, which is at one hundred and sixty-two gallons. It's showing diesel at actually three dollars and thirty cent, but it's three twenty-four. You know, if you pay differently. But what I'll do is pop up, like probably right here, what I actually paid for that fuel, which I'm sure is going to be significantly less uh, than what was shown there. But I needed fuel anyway. My fuel light was on, and I damn near ran out of fuel. I had like twenty miles left before I was empty, <laughs> so I made sure I got here to get my fill up. But this is the cheapest fuel that I get anywhere. So I'm always gonna come here and get my fuel. Anyways, guys, headed over to the destination. Got my load strapped and uh, tarped down pretty good, pretty tight. I took pictures of it. I'll see y'all um, over at, at my destination tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna be stopping by the terminal today. So that's where I, we are reconvene at. I'll be over at the shelter terminal. Holla. Huh. <sighs> How we going? Good afternoon, YouTube. All right, my YouTubians, we are here at the terminal. So we're here at Shelton uh, Shelton Trucking's terminal, one of their terminals. They have a few. They also share, uh, share 
terminals with PNS, so you can go to any any PNS related company terminal. So that includes Blair, Red Mountain, DMT, um, you know, all of them, right? You can go to them all. But yes, guys, so we're here in Alta, Florida. At the terminal is right outside of uh, Mariana, Florida. Just hit that uh, exit 142 over there by the TA and just go from there. Um, sorry, I don't want to get too close to my truck. My truck's kind of loud. But yeah, so we have our load here. We're going to deliver it tomorrow, about two and a half hours up the road. It's probably about 176 miles, 180 miles. Uh, run that up. And then we're going to come back to the terminal because I. I'm hoping and planning to finally get my hands on a lease trailer. I have been trying to do this since I got here, but I have been running into roadblocks either or, either because there were no trailers to rent at the time or just scheduling conflict with myself and loads. Um, so what I'm going to do tomorrow is just take a day off in order to get that done finally. The reason I am doing that is because right now at Shelton I make 68%. But with a leased trailer or your own trailer, you definitely can bring your own trailer in. I'll find out more specifics about their rules for bringing in your own trailer. But they trailers, um, with those, with their trailers, you make 75%. Uh, the trailers are leased out at $200 a week. And there's a $50 maintenance escrow that is put up for it as well. So let's just call it $250 a week. You know, insurance and all that. So... Um, the lease is five years on these trailers, but they are brand new trailers. They do have 48 foot trailers as well as 53 foot trailers. They have trailers with uh, tarp boxes and boxes on the trailer. Um, you know, and all of that. So they have all the amenities you would want a modern trailer to have. You know, so some have boxes, some don't. I think the 48 foots have boxes. Some of the 53s have boxes. There's a variety of them. They usually keep them out here on the yard. I'm going to also ask them one day, can I actually do a full-fledged lease video for them like I did with Boyd? Um, and see what they say where they give me access to the trucks to let me walk around and put on a full lease video for you guys. Hopefully I have information. Maybe even see if I can get an interview for those of you who are interested in doing lease purchase with Shelton. Um, I'll get more information on that and I'll get back to you guys. Just pop me some popcorn so it's time to eat. I'm going to chill here for the night. We're going to knock this out and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys the trailer tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. Well, YouTube, here at the terminal. Of course, I came in to just get a PM done yesterday. But as you can see, um, after I was trying to get that done, obviously with it being brake safety week and everybody's worried about braking and DOT and stuff like that, turns out I needed some brake shoes. Not just one pair of brake shoes, as you can see here, I needed four. So all of these had to get changed out. But it is what it is. I'd rather get caught here than DOT catch it. Uh, all right, happy Friday, YouTube. We're here at uh, Scotch Plywood in Fulton, Alabama. Picking up the load today, being Thursday the 29th, does not do until Tuesday. I don't even want to get into it, September 2nd. It's been a long week. Had to have four brake shoes replaced, as you guys may have saw on my short. If not, please go check that out. Uh, probably gonna go home this weekend. My birthday slash wedding anniversary is Saturday. So happy early birthday. Um, just wanted to show y'all the lease trailers that they did have here at uh, Shelton. This is one of their 48 foot trailers. That's the number you could call uh, to lease the trailer. Uh, convoy leasing uh, and sales. And that's their phone number there on the uh, trailer. Get another angle at it. That's the uh, phone number you can call. Just giving y'all a look at the trailer. It has aluminum wheels. It's a 2024 Rednauer trailer. Um, has tarp boxes, as you can see on that side. Shiny new aluminum on it. Here's how the back of it looks. 
And when you lease these trailers, when you're at Shelton, they increase your pay from 68% to 75%. This particular trailer is on the more expensive side because it is new and it has these boxes. Um, this trailer runs for $290 a week. And there is a $50 escrow you put up. So you'd be basically coming out of $345 a week. So while you make an extra percentage, yes. You also have to think about the increased cost. Um, they do cover the insurance on the trailer. You do cover the, uh, of course, the payment. But yeah, just wanted to give y'all a look at the trailer. So guys, that concludes pretty much this week of driving here at Shelton. Like I said, I had to have four brakes put on yesterday. Brake shoes put on Tuesday only for me to start driving yesterday and then the brake shoes that were put on lock up. So my truck locked up, had to be towed back to the terminal uh, to get refixed. So um, not having uh, the best week this week with this being my only load this week. That's um, that's not gonna fly. Sorry, I was checking my depth of my tires. That that's not gonna fly. And um, at the end of the day, guys, you know we're gonna see how that's gonna work out long run. But I won't give them too long before I decide that maybe that 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 the way the way things are being done. It's not the way that I want things done and that might not work out in the long run. But we're going to see, guys. Settlement this week was about 2700 So I definitely had a good settlement this week. Definitely not complaining about that. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy your weekends. I'm going to enjoy mine. Like I said, my birthday is Saturday, August 31st. It's also my 11th, wedding, uh, 11th year wedding anniversary. Uh, so shout out to me and the missus. And I will see you guys on next week's episode of Dragon Ball Z. All of them.